Make sure to use star code sugar coffee whenever you buy Robux for premium. And also, go get my UGC item from the catalog. The link is in the comments below. Hi everyone, and welcome back to my channel. So inside this video, I'll be showcasing every single house inside Adami, as well as rating all of them. Just keep in mind that this is all my personal opinions on the houses. You guys can listen to me, or you guys can just look at the houses that I'm showing you guys. And by the way, this video is made on May 2020, so for those of you who are watching this video on the, in the very far future, um, if I miss any houses, it's because this video is probably made a long time ago, and those houses are going to be in future updates. So if there's any houses that's added after the pirate ship, it will not be included in this video because it doesn't exist yet. And this is the part one of this video because there's too many houses inside of me. And inside this video, I'm going to cover the first eight houses, which are the eight cheapest houses. So inside this video, I'm going to rate every single house in three categories, and I'm going to give them a star out of five stars. So the first category I'm going to rate every single house on is the price. And obviously, I'm not going to rate it from the most expensive to the most like cheapest house. But instead, I'm going to rate if the price that you're paying is, is worth the house that you're getting. So there are a few houses that are just really expensive, but they're really good. And I think they're really worth the price. So I'll be rating the price of the house on whether it's worth it or not. And the second category I'll be rating on is the interior, which is the layout. There are a few houses on Dami that just have a really weird layout, which have like a big chunk of space. And it's kind of a nightmare to decorate because I feels like everyone buys a house so they can decorate it later on. And if it's really hard to decorate, I might not want to get it. There are a few houses that I got it once and it feels like I'm never going to use it again after the update video. So I'll be rating it on that as well. And the third category I'll be rating the houses on is the exterior. So whether the house is really nice looking on my personal lightings and also if the house is good for all four seasons and you can use it any time of the year and it won't be really weird. And so after explaining how I'm going to rate the house and with all of that said, now let's get right into the video. So for the price of this house, there really isn't much I could say about it because it came for free and everyone got it for free once they entered the game. So I feel like for a free house, this is a very nice house for the price of free. And even if you guys were to get a second one, it only costs 240 Adami cash. So for the price, I feel like it is definitely worth it. And if you guys came in the house and got this for free, it is a very perfect beginner house. And for the second category, which is the interior, I feel like I personally really like the house and I've personally used it a bunch of times in my videos before. As you can see right here, this is the cafe that I made. So you can have your own living room and kitchen out here. And you have a very small bathroom, but it can definitely fit a toilet, a shower, and a sink. And also for the bedroom, it's not a big bedroom, but for a beginner, you don't have much money to spend on furniture. So I think this house is going to be really easy to decorate and it's not going to cost you much money. And for the exterior, I am not the biggest fan of it because it looks really, really normal inside of Dami. And you can sometimes, you can barely see the house because there are so many bigger houses covering it in the neighborhood if you're not in a private server like I am right now. And I'm definitely not going to get this house for the exterior, but for the interior, I like it a lot and also the price. So I'm going to give this house a total of 3 stars out of 5 and I think it is definitely worth getting for your beginner days but it is not really a house that I would keep on using for a very long time. The second one is the family house which costs 489 Adami cash and for me this price I really like the price because the price it is definitely very easy to save up for and I think you can save up for this house in like under 40 minutes. So I think it is a very reasonable price and the house itself is pretty big for this price. I'm not gonna lie. It's kind of double the price of the tiny house, but the space is a lot more spacious than the tiny house. And the second for the interior, it definitely doesn't have the best interior because for the price you're getting, it is really, really good. And I... The one thing that I don't like about this house is the bedroom part. It only have one bedroom. 
even so you can definitely change something up and try to make another room into your bedroom but for how this house is made the whole second floor is pretty much your bedroom so for me i'm not really a fan of it because there's first you can place the door here yourself but for the entire second floor to be one single bedroom it doesn't really feels like a family house to me because I feel like in my mind, I feel like a family house should have at least two bedrooms, one for adults, one for kids. But you guys can definitely make the kitchen or the bathroom into a second bedroom if you guys would like. I feel like if I were to use this house as a house I'm going to use for a long time and adopt a lot of babies in, I feel like I would change the kitchen into a second bedroom and move the kitchen outside since there's really a lot of space out here. And definitely make a loft because this house came with a very high ceiling in this place and it is definitely a perfect space for a loft. And for the exterior of the house, once again, I'm not the biggest fan of it because it kind of looks like the tiny house has been stretched and made it into a longer version. So it is definitely quite a small exterior and the exterior does not show how big it is inside because the inside definitely looks a lot bigger than the exterior so it feels like the exterior i'm not a fan of it either and if i were to rate this house out of five stars i feel like i'll rate this house a three star as well because you, you did pay for the house and it's not free like the tiny house and the fact that it only comes with one bedroom and you have to kind of make a second bedroom yourself it is not the best thing to me because it is called a family house and I expect it to at least fit a whole family and I don't really expect the adult and the baby to share the same room. So yeah, I feel like I will give this house a 3 star and it is a house that I feel like for people who are always grinding, it can be a house that you guys want to keep for a very long time. But for a roleplay house, this is definitely not the best option. And the next house we're going to be talking about is going to be the pizza house. And this house you can buy for 500 Adami cash. And that price is definitely not worth it for me because the inside of this house is really, really small. And it is very, very hard to decorate. And it will only work as a pizza place. I definitely do not see myself turning this house into a role play house or a family house because... There's just, there's definitely no space for a bedroom at all, unless you have to make one yourself with barriers. So for the price of 500, this house compared to the family house, it is definitely not really worth it for me. And for the interior, I never got this house myself, as I said in the beginning of this video, because I've seen other people have it and I definitely do not like this interior. This interior includes a lot of big spaces, like this one upstairs and also the one downstairs. And the layout of this house, I'm not the biggest fan of it because I like making roleplay houses. Um, I like to make houses with like bedrooms and a bunch of like playing areas. But this house only gives you a kitchen and a bathroom upstairs. So there really isn't a space for a bedroom. But I definitely think this house is very perfect for a restaurant because it is made for a restaurant and it is definitely very nice on what it's made for. But for me, I do not like it. So for the exterior, I kind of like it because here's this like window that's kind of like pushed outside of the house, which I really like. And you have your own profile picture displayed over here, which can show everyone whose house this is. And with this little sitting area, I think it looks really, really cute for a restaurant or a pizza place. So the exterior definitely fits the theme. And I just don't see myself using this exterior as a family house because I don't think anyone lives in a restaurant or a shop. But for the exterior, it fits the theme really well and it's really cute. So I feel like the exterior is the best thing that I like about this house. And if I were to rate this house out of 5 stars, I feel like I gave it a 1 star because I just really, really, really don't like the interior. And I feel like for the price of this house, I'd rather get the family house other than this house because the family house gives me so much more space and so much more rooms other than having this. But if you guys are trying to make a shop or a restaurant, this is probably your best choice. The next one we're going to be talking about is the tree house and this tree house you can get for 800 Adami cash and for this price I think it's definitely very worth it because 
as you can see by the exterior, the Dami developers definitely put so much work in this house, and I think it is very worth it for the look. And now come to the interior. I do not like it. I've made this house a few times, I've decorated it for my friends and myself, and I feel like the interior is definitely not one of my favorites, and if I'm going to say this, it's probably like one of my least favorites, because it has such a big open space, as you guys can see, and it is quite a pain to decorate. I feel like the only way to make it look really nice is by using a lot of barriers, and that's what I did in my friend's house. I used a bunch of barriers and bricks to make rooms myself in this area and a bunch of other areas. And this house also only comes with a bathroom and a bedroom and a giant open space. There is a lot of space in this house, but the space are too open and they're just too, it's, there's, I need more walls, so, to separate the rooms. But for this house, my favorite part of this house is the exterior. I think the exterior looks so amazing. So I love how they have this like curve, curvy stairs that goes all the way around the tree. And how there's like this giant tree with the house inside. I think this exterior, you can see a lot of like attention and a lot of time being put into it. And it feels like the exterior itself is really worth the price. So if you guys like the outside look, I will get this house for the outside look. I feel like out of five stars, I give this house a two and a half or three stars because the interior just really gives it like a very downgrade. If the interior is very nice, I feel like this house might be one of the best houses, but the interior just gives me a lot of trouble decorating and I'm not a big fan of it. So the next house is an estate and it costs 972 Adami cash. And I remember this house being the first house I've ever bought inside Adami. And before there wasn't a tree house or the pizza place. So this was the third cheapest house that was on the house purchasing page. And this was actually my first house I've ever bought. And 972 Adami cash took me quite a long time to save up for once I was a beginner. And, but it feels like I really love this house. I did end up not using this house for a very long time and changing it to another house afterwards. But this house gives you every single room you need. One problem with this house. One problem is just this house only came with one bedroom. So if you guys go upstairs, there is two rooms. One of them is a bathroom and one of them is a bedroom. And I kind of... When I bought this house, I kind of expected more than one bedroom, and there really wasn't, and you you kind of have to, like, use the space yourself, like, maybe add a few barriers here and there, and making this into a bedroom, or, like, adding more barriers here and making this into another bedroom and stuff, so you have to do a lot of stuff inside this house yourself, and there wasn't much pre-made stuff. So for the price, I feel like it is definitely very, very, very worth it for under a thousand Adami cash. And this house is so spacious. You have your own dining room. You have a kitchen here and you have like this very big living space outside. It is big, but it's also reasonable. So it isn't too big like the other one. And up here you have a bedroom and also a bathroom. But for the interior, I just don't really like houses that have like less than two bedrooms because I feel like it's a dummy so obviously you're gonna get babies or pets and I feel like I like to make a separate room for them and if there's only one bedroom that means that though and the baby have to either share the bedroom or you have to figure out a way to make more bedrooms for the babies and pets yourself and for the exterior of this house I bought this house for the exterior so I definitely really like it I feel like it looks you can, you can tell that it's a two-floored house by the exterior, and the house outside is not too big. It looks quite similar size to the Celebrity Mansion from the outside, so I feel like this house has a very nice exterior, and there's like some sort of like layers going on with the exterior, which I love so much, and I feel like the exterior is one of the best things about this house as well. If I were to rate this house, I rate it a 4 star out of 5 stars. It is not perfect yet, but it's definitely one of the best house ever. And buying this as my first house ever in Adami, I feel like it is really, really worth it. And I really love this house a lot. I have a lot of memories with, the, with this house. And I think it is one of the best houses in Adami. 
for this next one, I'm going to do two houses together, which are the fairy house and also the castle. The reason is because the interior looks so similar to me that they're almost identical. So I feel like I want to do them together and just compare them both together. And the first I'm going to start on was the fairy house and it costs 1100 Adopt Me Cash, which for me, I feel like it is a very reasonable price because for the price of this house, you actually get three floors and there's a bunch of rooms in the house and also a super cute exterior. So I think it is a very reasonable price. And for the castle, it costs 1499 Adopt Me Cash, which compared to the fairy house, it is a lot more expensive. It is 300, almost 400 more expensive than the fairy house. And you're almost getting the exact same thing on the inside. So if you guys are a builder like me and doesn't really care much about the outside, although I really care about the outside as well. But for me, the inside and the interior is a lot, is a lot more important. So I feel like compared to these two prices, the fairy house is a lot more cheaper and it's almost the same thing. So I feel like the fairy house has a lot more reasonable price than the castle. So the interior it is almost exactly the same. It is the same on the first floor and the second floor. And the only difference is on the third floor. So before we go to the third floor, I'm going to show you guys how this house looks like. So it have a living area, it have a kitchen. Well, it's a kind of a bathroom here, but I will use it as a kitchen. And upstairs you have two rooms you have a bigger room which can be used for a kid's bedroom and also a small area as a toy room or a separate bedroom or a separate bathroom or a bedroom i don't really know and over here up here the third floor is the only difference between these two houses interiors and for the fairy house the third floor have a very big open space there's no rooms you can make rooms yourself and for the interior i like this house a lot better just for the third floor because for the castle, the third floor looks exactly the same as the second floor, which have two very, very small rooms. And those rooms are just very, very tight for me. And that feels like we can barely do any stuff with them. So I'm not really sure if I like it. And I feel like for the fairy house on the third floor, you can do a lot more stuff. And you can make house, you can make rooms yourself instead of using the pre-made one, which looks exactly the same as the second floor. And also there is a difference on the first floor, which I forgot to mention. And for the castle, all three floors look exactly the same. They all have two rooms, one smaller room, one bigger room with a giant open area. It is not, it is not really giant, but like bigger than the rooms. So in between these two houses, I would definitely get the fairy house if you guys don't care too much about the exterior because the fairy house is a lot more cheaper and I feel like it has a lot more rooms for you guys to decorate yourself and other than having the castle which have all three rooms all the same. But for the exterior, I like the castle a lot better because the castle, it has this very giant door. It is really, really tall and you can color the top yourself. You can color it green or any colors you guys like. And it looks, it looks very nice on the outside. I feel like both house looks really nice on the outside. But in comparison, I think I like the castle a lot better. And in conclusion, I'm going to rate the fairy house a three stars because it is not my most favorite house and the space are quite tight and there's not much space you can work with. But for the price and also how many rooms you're getting, I feel like it is a three star. It is a very solid three star. And for the castle, I'm going to rate it a two and a half or even a two star because it is a lot more expensive and I feel like you're not getting as like a better house. And I feel like for a cheaper price, you can get a very similar and better house, which is the fairy house. So I'm going to rate it a two star or two and a half. The next one is the donut house, which we kind of skip for a second because it is in between the fairy house and the castle. And this house costs 1299 Adopt Me Cash. And for the price of it, again, it kind of feels really similar to the pizza shop. It doesn't have a lot of bedroom space because it is made for a shop. But in comparison to this one from the pizza place, this one is a lot better in my opinion. I like this one a lot more because it has a lot more rooms. And you guys can use this one as a shop and also a house yourself if you guys like. This house can be a shop and also a, a house which people can live in, but it doesn't have much living spaces.
and for the price of this house, I feel like it is very worth it because this house compared to the pizza place is a lot more spacious. It has a lot more rooms. It has a giant open space upstairs, and it came with a whole set of like party supplies. And you guys can also add more chairs and stuff over here. And maybe if you guys would like, you can add more barriers and make this into an actual house other than a restaurant. And one thing I really like about this house is that you can be both a restaurant and also a living house. So you guys can make this area into a living area with like a bedroom over here. You can have this as a bedroom. And over here you can have a bathroom and all the way in here you can have a kids room or like a pets room in here if you guys like. And you can make your kitchen outside for the restaurant or for the, or for the donut shop. So you can just use the kitchen out here. And upstairs there is really a lot of space for you guys to decorate yourself. You can add a lot of barriers and you can add a lot of more stuff. And over here you can have a bunch of tables and stuff. So this house, I like it a lot because it can be both a restaurant or a cafe or like a donut shop, shop however you guys want to use it, as well as a kind of like a small family house. And for the exterior, I love the exterior with the giant donut on top. I think it looks super, super cute. And it's kind of like a very small square. It's not, it's not really too small. It's a very reasonable small size. It is not really big, it's not really small, so it feels like I love it so much. And I have a giant donut from the outside, it looks like it's kind of one floor, but it's actually two floors. So it's two storied, and I think this house is one of my favorites. I love this house a lot. It has very good spacing, and you can use this house for so much stuff. So I'm going to rate this house a 4 star because it is not my most favorite one, but it is definitely a very nice house, and I would definitely recommend getting this house. Thank you so much for watching, and if you liked the video, please leave a like, and also subscribe for more videos, and I'll see you guys next time, bye!